what is going on everyone James their best layers and we are back out here at the spot and I'm gonna try to catch a fish today I got out here a little bit late I wanted to get out here earlier this morning and I did not but uh, it's nice and calm right now there's no wind the wind is just barely starting to pick up I'm right at the end of the peak time to fish these are here and they're all just now getting up and getting active and they're starting to like pick and peck at each other and get in little fights and stuff and that's exactly what we hooked into the three fish the last time I was out here so I'm going to get to cast these baits here oh, I can get up I got my lipless again and then I brought this guy up which is just a jerk bait and I think I'm going to start with this guy and let's try to catch fish <laughs> what is this? What is this? No way. <laughs> I should throw you out there for food, little buddy. That's freaking funny. No, uh, you got yourself in a little predicament here. You are. He didn't really try to eat this. Looks like he tried to eat it. I hate catfish. <laughs> if you can't tell. Get you off, dude. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. I might have sideswiped him. Just all of a sudden, boo! <laughs> That's funny. I side hooked a carp in here, a catfish now. And a sucker fish. Enjoyable. Oh man. You can tell me my camera turned off on me. I didn't even hear it turn off. Well, it got me a fish. That sucks. As soon as it hit the water and I started to crank it with the, with the nice little fight too. Dang it. You know my batteries are dead. They did. That sucks. I hate when I don't get the catch footage. Cold water, fall transition, nice decent little fish. And I think I'm on a pattern. Eyes are down, see the eyes are down, feeding down. They're on. Dang it, didn't have my camera on. That sucks. Let's change batteries. What is going on everyone? James, Third and Bass Slayers. I am out here having a rough time. 
I mean, kind of had a fun day. Got out for about four hours today. Um, we somehow entangled a, uh, a small catfish there. I don't know if he tried to eat the bait. I really don't think he tried to eat the bait. I think I uh, side hooked that guy. And uh, I caught one on a lipless crankbait. And of course my battery died and I turned down the volume on my uh, camera so I can't hear when the battery dies now. I think I need to turn it back up so I can hear when it shuts off on me. Um, I've been trying all kinds of stuff today, man. I, I threw uh, a couple different baits. I threw this guy for a little while, actually quite a while. And I just didn't get bit on it at all. Um, it was like three or four years ago out here on the other side when this place was still full. Um, I was throwing that same exact bait and I got bit by one of the biggest fish that we've ever seen out here. And that thing jumped a few times and it got off. I uh, was throwing that on my old spinning rod and it had no backbone and that fish just owned me, man. It jumped a few times and spit the bait and I was screaming and yelling and Rich is running down trying to help me. It, it, was, it was a debacle, it was pretty funny. But anyways, man, we are in the full blown fall transition here. And uh, it's one of the hardest times of the year to fish. And to be honest with you, it's kind of tough uh, to get on a pattern. These fish are really like, they're eating according to the Bassmaster uh, uh, Solar Lunar Table Guide. And we are going into a, uh, a new moon cycle right now. It's four days before the new moon. So I'm going to try to get out here uh, as much as I can in the next uh, couple days. My birthday is on the 20th and that is the day that Richard caught his nine and a half out here. I was actually out at Avery Pond that day. I didn't know he went fishing that day and uh, I was out at Avery Pond that day and I skunked out at Avery and he caught the nine and a half pounder out here man and I almost came out here that day and if I had came out here we probably would have linked up and he would have never caught that fish, which is kind of odd to think, but it's just how it goes, man. Um, it's hot right now. It's, it's going to get back up into the 90s, like really hot, like around 98 for a day or two. And this time of year for October, for it to be that hot, kind of sucks, is what it is. Well, I am going to pack up and head out of here, go home and get some food and reorganize and edit this footage and do some other stuff come back out here in a couple days gotta really be i don't know man i got out here early this morning and there was no wind and the wind has kind of died down as you can see there's like not any chop on the water or nothing but it's tough man it's really tough I'm about to get a bunch of stickers ordered or bachelor stickers and hopefully a bunch of shirts so all you people that want shirts and stickers, I'm going to be getting them made pretty soon. Anyways, Urban Bachelors, losing my train of thought. Kind of bummed out. Got my butt handed to me. I threw that, that lip list for a long time, man. And when they're eating it, and you know they're eating it, they hit that thing and they hit it hard. And it's, it's really hard to put it down when they're eating it that good and you know you can get them to bite it like that. I got one good one on it, but not not the numbers that I'm looking for. I'm looking for that one good bite, and uh, I don't know, man. We'll see. Urban Bass Layers, fall transition into October 2020. This year's been wacko, and uh, I don't know. Get out and fish if you can. Enjoy your life. Thanks for watching, guys. Urban Bass Layers, cutting this one. Yeah, look at that. Let's pay attention. Nice uh, drop shot hook sitting on the ground there. Anyways, your bachelors.